Hi everyone, I'm Gina with Country Family Values and today I've talked my husband into showing you his version of strawberry shortcake. He got it from his grandparents so I'm going to say this is probably a depression era recipe. Um, in his version he uses strawberries, sugar, and saltine crackers. If you're not a fan of saltine crackers, I'm going to suggest that you use maybe graham crackers and you could also include some whipped cream if you like. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Okay, what you doing there, buddy? I'm slicing my strawberries. Alright, so we're going to slice them before we... Smush them. Before we smush them. Okay. And yes, I'm a redneck. <laughs> That's okay. I am too. I'm slicing strawberries that most of you is probably aware how to do. What you're probably not aware of is what's going to happen next. I'm going to make strawberry shortcake. What I call strawberry shortcake, they're made with saltine crackers for the crust. It's definitely different, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it's a area thing because I can't readily find a recipe for it. Uh, both sides of my family, my maternal and paternal grandparents eat it and uh, I grew up on it and it's just something I enjoy. So, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Sounds good. Okay, so once we get the strawberries sliced up, the next step is add sugar. Now you can adjust accordingly. Uh, I'm a country boy. I generally don't measure. I just pour what I think is an appropriate amount. And so for two quarts, it works out to be about a cup. I buried the cup so you all could see, but a cup of sugar sweetens the berries pretty good. Okay, so we've got our cup of sugar sprinkled in and if you have a food processor, you can certainly use a food processor. Back when I started making this and grew up on it, we didn't know what they were. So you just dig in with your hands. Clean hands. Right? Clean hands. Wash them first. But you just reach in, grab them, squeeze and smush and mush. It takes a little while and uh, you'll get it all squished up. We decided to hit this with the blender a bit because it's, uh, berries are still a little whole. And he likes it to be more pureed. But you know, if you don't, you don't have to do that. Okay, so we're back to uh, start the layering on our strawberry shortcake made with saltine crackers. Uh, I grew up and always eat out of a Pyrex loaf pan. Back in the days of old, you got saltine crackers in squares of four. That made, that used to be one cracker. Uh, you don't hardly find those anymore. So I just use the individual. You take and put a layer in the bottom. Stand a row up around the edges. So, and then I use <clears throat> like a soup ladle and uh, put one or you can go a little over one scoop and then another layer of crackers. And 
and you just continue to do this until you run out of berries or you fill your Pyrex dish up. finish with a layer of crackers on top and then I like to cover mine in cling wrap put it in the refrigerator let it set two to three hours so the crackers will soak and get soggy and it's ready to eat and a little tip uh, if you like milk pour you just a little bit of milk on it and you're Good to go.